the story to go along with this next song. I was living in Nashville, Tennessee, sort of on and off when I was making my first album. And, uh, and I, uh, I had a manager at the time named Monty Hitchcock, and he was the quintessential first manager. Everything you would imagine. First of all, his name was Monty Hitchcock. It's like the best fucking manager name I've ever heard of in my life. And he was amazing. He was such a great um, manager and such a cool guy. And we're still friends today. But one of his other clients besides me was Amy Lou Harris. And uh, I'm a big Amy Lou fan. And uh, she was a sort of a household name in, in my house, you know. So, uh, the department of redundancy department, sorry. But, uh, and one day we were sitting in his office and I was saying, like, I really want Amy Lou to sing on this song and would you consider maybe sending it to her? And, uh, he said, well, he said, she gets a lot of requests like that and, you know, nine times out of ten it, they don't happen and uh, I prefer not sending it to her, you know, and I was like, okay, no worries. And then he goes, well, what, what song is it? And I told him the name of the song. And, uh, and then so he said, uh, okay, I can see her possibly singing on that. And uh, so he sent it to her. And like he said, you know, we didn't hear anything back for the first week. You know, week, week one went by, nothing, you know. And then another week goes by and we still haven't heard a damn thing from Amy Lou. So I'm thinking, you know, of course this isn't, this isn't going to happen. And so the following Friday, and I remember, I'll never forget it, it was a Friday evening, or early afternoon actually, and I was sitting in his office, and uh, the phone rings, and lo and behold, it's, it's Amy Lou Harris. And, uh, and she says, um, hey, Monty, uh, Neil Young is in town, he's playing the Ryman Auditorium, and uh, his manager just called and said that Neil has run out of weed, and he needs some, and can you bring some down to the Ryman and pick me up on the way there? And luckily, I sold weed at the time. And so I was like, well, we got plenty of that. And, um, and so he said, yeah, he said, we can do that. And with a twinkle in his eye, he looked at me and said, you just have to do me this one favor, Amy Lou, tomorrow you have to sing on this kid's track. And she said, done. So I'd like to say thank you to, to Neil Young for one of week. <laughs> That's how things happen to music business people. Thank you. 